Hello everybody. If you already know me, you know my name's Anita O'Neill, I'm the owner of Ubrink Studio. But if you know, if you don't know me, then um, we're based in West Norfolk and one of the things that I love is textile art. So I can use textile art using scraps of fabric, using um, lots of bits and pieces, scraps of threads and things like that, which is something that I really love to do. So today I'm going to talk to you about scraps. So what do you do with your scraps? I started off very, very well with sorting all of my scraps so they were coloured in tubs. So you'd have the greens, the blues, the reds, the yellows, whichever. And then of course it gets a bit complicated because is the yellow an orange or is the orange a yellow? You know, how does that go? So um, I ended up with more and more tubs with more and more colours which were always overflowing. And I kept thinking to myself, this takes a lot of time to keep sorted. Then I did a, a few things with quilting and of course as a quilter you would sit and look at your scraps and you would tidy them up or I would tidy them up so I would have squares and triangles and circles depending on what the scrap was trying to save as much as the fabric as possible so of course they then have to go into other boxes and this took up a huge amount of time which drove me crazy in the end. So in the end my solution to this problem was to tip the whole lot into a great big dustbin which has now disappeared because the dustbin started to overflow and I would say to people please help yourself to the scraps in the bin if they came here to do any work so do help yourself to those scraps in the bin use them up they never ever got through at all there was so much of it so it then occurred to me I have to start using these because it's just going to keep going and keep going and keep going so now my scrap bin is this I have got it down to this and I will show you the contents in just a moment and I will also show you what to do with it. I also have a paper scrap box and I do have a big bag of these lovely tweedy wool scraps as well. So we'll talk about that in just one moment. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is talk about the paper scraps. This piece here is made from paper and fabric scraps, mainly paper scraps. They're hand stitched onto some cotton fabric and uh, I tried to use the dye threads that I dye myself so that it all coordinated. These pieces of paper, which are the cores from where I dye the fabrics, so I dye a whole ball or a whole skein at a time um, so that I actually don't know what I'm going to get. And some of the things that you get, see look at this, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Just waiting to be stitched into and manipulated. Some of them are a little bit bigger, so like this, you can see this was the inside of a cone. And uh, you can still peel this and make this a little bit thinner, but I can use this background here, which is quite nice for something. If I turn it over, this is a nice rough edge, which I could also use. So I have lots of options, and this one has got ridges on it. So you see, these scraps are never thrown away. They're just used. And this piece here, which is now very shiny, and it looks like leather, all I've done with this is just put acrylic wax on it, and it changes the whole thing. So the papers can be used into textile art in many, many ways. But that's just one thing that we can do with scraps. So let's look next at what we can do with the scrap bin. So the scrap bin, here it is. And as you can see inside it, I have got pieces of cotton fabric. These are wet wipes where we're mopping up all the stuff on the tables, which you can get some lovely things through. We've got bits of ribbon bits of lace. That's a very plasticky one actually, that one. It is bits of this beautiful trim. If I take that off. Lovely trim. Just a little bit left over from the project. And some glittery fabrics too. There's also pieces in here that I have already stitched. So this is a scrap from that piece there 
no it's not, it's a scrap from that piece there left over that had been cut off but I'm not going to throw it away because I could use it for something and also there's some of these lovely little sequiny bits as well so my scrap bin has an awful lot in it and when it gets to this stage where it's this full it's time for me to consider how I'm going to use it and in this particular case I have been making these books so this is a book cover that's the book inside and these are the book covers and as you can see I have used um, scraps of felt for the inside and then the outside has got this is wet wipes this is some lace over the bottom here um, on this side we've got some of that glittery fabric but it's green and then I've stitched over the entire thing with variegated threads on the sewing machine to make a new fabric and how do you do that you might say well I'll show you so these scraps here are lovely tweeds and wools and they come as very very thin pieces or very very thick pieces now I buy bags of these at the shows because I really love working with them and what I do is get a scrap piece of bump and you might say to me what on earth is that so this is bump this is a fabric it's a curtain liner so when you're making curtains if you put this in it keeps the cold out and the sun out um, if you want it cooler in your house and stops your heat escaping brilliant stuff use it for quite a lot of things so when I've got scraps like this I then stitch them on so as you can see here there are some wider pieces and there are some not so wide pieces as it comes along they're all different lengths they're all different sizes and all I've done is machine stitch down them as you can see here and where I've left these longer pieces here I'll get another scrap of bump and I'll just butt it up against that there ridge and I'll carry on sewing down. Again, I use a variegated thread. This one looks like it's pinks on here, but I'm not too bothered about the colors because all I want to do is make some new fabric from some scraps. And from that, you can make lots of these types of books, not just that size, there's big ones as well. You can make all sorts with it. So throwing your scraps away, away isn't really an option for me. We need to use it as much as, can, as we can. So if you're a quilter, you will already know that you hang on to your scraps. But any type of textile, if you hang on to them, then you need to use them. So one question that I'm always asked is, how do I know what I'm going to make? I don't. When I tip out my scrap bag or my scrap bin, I will just get underneath the sewing machine and start sewing and see what develops. I might think to myself, this green goes quite nice with this orange or this yellow or whichever, and then it might turn into something florally, or it might be just me sewing strips like that together just to make some books up, just to use them up. But they do need to be used up. And one of the things that occurred to me many, many years ago was, if you have these scraps, if you're creating these scraps, they need to be used or you need to get rid of them. There's no point in just keeping them. It's absolutely pointless because all you're going to do is get snowed under. And I've always had this dream of falling under all of this fabric because I'm not using it. So when my bin gets to the stage that it is now, that's the time for me to make some things with my scraps. Whether it's textile art, as in the art you can see behind me, or whether it's making up some of these books or whether it's me just making up some scrap bags because sometimes I'll make scrap bags up as well for people but I don't plan any of it I don't like planning I'm not very good when it comes to planning a piece of textile art because in the middle of it my mind goes off in a completely different direction so I may have planned this lovely picture but suddenly my mind says well what if you do this and what if you do that and off I go on a tangent so I never end up with the item that I'm supposed to have planned to have made so planning isn't a good idea I like to be material led and I will sit there with the materials and just see where they take me it could be with paints it could be with paper it could be with fabrics it could be with threads 
I don't worry about things being colour coordinated. If I want to put a bright purple on a bright pink, I will do, because it changes when you make it into something. So you never quite know what you're going to end up with. And that's how I like to work. And so in conclusion, I would really love it if you could let me know about how you manage your scraps and what you make with them and also some pictures if you would like to send them to me, it would be lovely and we can share them on all the social medias, which I would like to do. Just in case you're interested, we do have a textile fair coming up in April, the 6th and 7th of April of this year and uh, I will be there and so will some of my scrappy things that I'm making so maybe you'd like to come and have a chat and tell us all about it would be interesting. We are based in West Norfolk just outside of Kings Lynn so we would love to see and hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.